video lesson. My name is Luca Lutarotti. I will introduce you to the use of the MAUD Ritver program for analysis, material analysis using diffraction. Okay, first uh, we go to download the program and actually you just search on Google, for example, MAUD program. Okay, and okay, here is the first link at the University of Trento. That's where my web page is. So we go to the download page, check the web page, and be sure you have in your computer a modern Java virtual machine. Uh, no problem for Mac, for Windows, it should be already installed also in most of the computer. Uh, for Linux, be careful that some of distribution like Ubuntu or similar, they may have installed uh, not a good one. You, I advise to use uh, the version from uh, Sun and not uh, the included by default one. Okay, so I download the 64-bit as I have a computer 64-bit capable. Here is the download. Okay, and uh, on Mac, he will uh, just uh, I can, okay. I get a, he will just uh, open a window when he has finished to mount uh, on the desktop uh, uh, the uh, new application. Okay, here it is. Uh, on window, you probably get a zip file, so you just unzip uh, and extract the folder containing. Uh, the application and all the library you need. Okay, for Mac everything is in this app, so I just put in the application so all users in this computer can use it. Now, for installation, this is the everything you need. Okay, for okay, so Linux and Windows, you just extract the archive and put whatever you like the program. So let's go to application and now the first run is particular for Maud, apart he asks for permission, okay, uh, he will ask uh, to create a folder or a directory where Maud needs to extract some files, some reference files, some uh, examples, some database, okay. Don't need the cancel button, but uh, just create a folder. If you cannot create in this window here, create outside, create the folder. I call, for example, my mouth files. You can call it uh, as you like. And okay, I keep it separate from the program, as these contain just some preference, and every user can have a different. Okay, save, so you extract everything in that directory and he start the program. Okay, I adjust the window to my preference. Okay, let's see, like here, so I can see quite well what I need. Um, okay, advice on Windows, don't press the maximize button and because uh, when you close the program, he remember the size Okay, well I can show you, I quit the program, okay, then I start again and you see it keeps the uh, same size as before. So if you enlarge, you then end up having always everything occupied. So enlarge just using this one here. So I would like also to check if everything is okay. So I just load one of the example. So mouth goes, uh, you see, up here in the directory I created. So there are a lot of files inside there. Some of them, the one ending in .par, are analysis example already done. So you can load one. For example, we load this Itrimox site that is just an example uh, common from a round robin. Okay, so here is the plot. I can compute. Uh, so this is a refinement already done, so I, I can check the actual fit. Well, it's sufficiently good. Just pressing the compute uh, 
pattern here. He just computes the pattern based on the parameter he has inside. So I can click and drag and zoom in, double click, I can zoom out, or if I press the right mouse button, I can see, for example, here the coordinate, okay, or whatever. Okay, we can change also uh, the plot option, for example, here you can plot the background, we can uh, use uh, plotting Q space, linear, Okay, done, and you see here. Actually, I prefer more to plot in square, so I can see also a small peak, and I plot at ISO error uh, level here. Okay, if I uh, plot in a separate window here, I can adjust uh, actually the size of this plot, uh, and uh, then, uh, if I want to copy and paste this image for whatever reason you, you like, I can copy here, you see. And then I can go to my preferred program, for example, preview, and then uh, new from clipboard, okay, and then here I am. Then I can save as an image. Uh, Okay, PNG, TIFF, uh, whatever I like, uh, okay, or print, uh, or whatever. I can also paste uh, in program like Word, or for example, this simple text edit, okay. So let's see, paste, uh, and you see here have the image already here. Okay, uh, now, uh, there is a... Uh, uh, Okay, I can also print here, so let's say I take a four landscape, okay, just to see, okay, without, I, I can show you the, just a preview, okay, so the window, so I don't really print actually, I just show, so show you that uh, it can be done okay let's quit this one uh, there is one problem okay on this copy and paste that uh, I couldn't get rid of if you plot in option if you change for example the label here 20 20 20 for example, let's take a smaller for the face, done, okay, here, so, and also maybe I, I change also, I use uh, the font, uh, same font for label also, if I like more then. Uh, now, if I do a copy and I paste, uh, like before, because I change uh, uh, the characteristic of the plot uh, without redrawing, it doesn't paste correctly, okay? So I don't save this one, so here, to avoid this problem, when you have finished to change uh, the option, you just close, uh, reopen the windows, okay, maybe here. If you, if you didn't uh, close the program and reopen, he didn't re he does not remember the size of this window, but the font everything is is okay. So you can see yes it's 2020 20, 20. okay so I close now if I copy and I go again to preview and I move from clipboard now it is okay. Also notice that here uh, in the paste I don't paste also the gray part here so this is maybe better for uh, publishing purpose for publishing purpose maybe you want also to uh, plot in black and, black and, and white okay uh, so you can also do the same okay so coming back and the same option apply here so you have the extreme oxide uh, all the position of the peaks everything Okay, so this is everything for the first inside of mouth. Thanks for the attention.